Okay guys, I did want to show you something. I took what I made a suggestion of and I turned this around where the flat side was to the back and that made it look a lot better. So you're actually able to get closer to the side and um, all I did was take the, um, uh, I took the um, piece that I had made and I took a dremel tool and cleaned it out. And what, I'm, what you would end up doing, and it, it actually looks better here too, I used a 3 16 inch um, dowel instead of that quarter inch dowel. And I actually made my hole a tad big, so I just took some tape and worked around until I made it fit tight. So you could actually make it the hole where it's 3 16 or you could, um, if you did get a little bit big, wrap a little tape around it, and once you paint it, you'll never see it. But anyway, um, that made it look a lot better because you do see the rounded edges. Um, I still suggest... Um, uh, putting uh, the da the um, 3 16 dowel inside here and gluing it in place that makes these really strong okay but uh, go ahead and that um, I will <clears throat> see about on the uh, on the the for the molds about putting a small divot there so you'll know where to put the um, the toothpick that you put in the bottom of each side so you'll know where to stick that if not, if, if I don't get it, the problem is, is trying to do it and going back from here and doing it on the mold. But you see where that stringer goes down. It's the second one back. It's right outside of it. Um, there's a hole that you just, I just took an X-Acto knife and just twist it until I got the uh, a hole the right size. And I did one on each side and actually um, this uh, gun mount fits down in there. It works really well. So. Like I said, I'm going to go from now and I'm going to go ahead and get all this painted and, and we'll take one last look at it and make sure I hadn't missed anything. So I'll get that done and I'll be back. Okay, here we are back with the um, the cockpit all painted. Um, I will quickly go over where everything goes. Um, I just got through, I stopped long enough to do a video showing how I paint a cockpit. So there is online a video showing how I actually painted this cockpit itself. Anyway, um, we're gonna start up here at the dash. Uh, once you get it ready, once you get the this put in place, and like I said, you all test fit in all this, put in place, um, well, you wanna make sure that you install your um, dash first, and you want it just below the um, this rim here. You, you wanna in, put this piece in and look where the best fit of it is. And but anyway, it centers up and install that on there. Then your two guns, they're just the rear ends of them, are mount in between. Um, I got this from just a tad crooked, but you can just uh, CA those on. Uh, when you're painting this, one thing you might want to take into consideration, this was going up into a fuselage, so you may use a darker color. I did the green so you can offset um, the different colors and see them better. But this was going up into a cavity into the airplane, it would have been darker. You could actually use a darker green compared to the rest, whatever you want to do. Anyway, that's that's pretty easy. I, on, in a painting video, I'll show how to cut out the dials. Very simple. Um, on the front cockpit itself, um, the chair is pretty self-explanatory. I have, um, this, this was a, um, just prior to the finished prototype, there is a, um, uh, a, pl a place for the yoke to go here in the middle. It, it's, you can't miss it. You'll be able to see it. And um, it goes right here. And then there's another little thing here that you put, you can put a lever on, uh, like a part break or something. Look, I, they, they didn't label these very well. Anyway, um, but all you do is where the, the, the place is left open, you just, I use a toothpick, drill into the bottom of the uh, joystick, put a toothpick, glue it in, and then slide it down into the hole. Um, also, y'all take in consideration of if you're using a gas engine, anything vibrates, is figure out how you're gonna secure this in the plane, and you may wanna coat the bottom of this with um, 16th inch balsa, just up to you. Anyway, you have a control box that fits right here. You have a wheel that fits right here. I guess it's like a flap wheel, and you need to take a, a 3 16 inch dowel, small, short dowel, uh, glue to the back of it, and then glue it to the wall. Um, Here's your um, throttle control. Um, there, they used a kind of a, a more or less of a handle instead of a ball. So I used a 3 16 inch um, dowel and a, a pin. And all this will be supplied. 
and you had two different throttle controls on there. The other side, there's two uh, black boxes, two boxes molded in. You just have to paint those. This one is supplied. Um, I, I really couldn't find on documentation what it was. Just tried to duplicate it. Anyway, it did have a handle that came off of it. Uh, there is a pin supplied with some um, with some aluminum tube, and I just drilled into the bottom and I bent it at 90 degrees and brought that up. That's really easy to install on this. Um, in the midsection, this piece is just cut out, and then this was like a compass on top of it. If you want to get really creative, it had some lenses so they could sit here and look down into it. You can make that, but it went right, um, right between the two cockpits. Okay. Um, on the rear cockpit, this is just a panel that that, that caps off the rear. Um, I've explained that. You just paint it however you want. There was a chair chair in the rear. All right. Now, when you glue this up, it's kind of harder to paint because it is in this position. I mean, you, you just really have to paint one side, paint the other, and kind of work your way around. Anyway, it had a control box just behind this stringer, the second one down. The, uh, I think it was a bomb sight. It was a, it's a two piece, um, piece. Let me grab one real quick. I, when you get it, it'll be on there, but it's a two-piece. This pulls off. I painted this, and in the pictures, it looks green, had a black cap on it. And this was also green, the holder, but I went ahead and painted it black to, to make it a little bit of offset. Anyway, uh, that comes in here, and it goes about midways. Now, what you need to do is cut a hole, about a quarter-inch hole. Mine's a little bit further away than it needs to be, but that drills through and the holder it needs to be close enough to the side that the holder will uh, glue to the side of the plane i can still glue this one it won't make a make, won't make a difference okay on the other side there's like a small attache case right here or a paper uh, folder holder um, there's also another small control box on this side those are all supplied the um the gun mount it's one um, like i showed you earlier how it's made um, I ended up using a 3 16th inch dowel and like I showed you before I turn these to where you see the tubes and the flat side goes up between the side of the fuselage. Um, I have not drilled the holes in it. What you need to do is come off the side figure out where it is and even with this stringer here or just just a tad back you needs to be the same on both sides. You drill your hole and um, a, I centered a dowel and put a toothpick in the bottom of each and that allowed this to mount in there and you can finally glue it in place once you get through. Um, like I was telling you, you need to put your dowels in here and what you need to do is once you get it all in place is sand. Um, you can't see it on this one, but um, the height of it, I sanded just the plastic off the bottom and it made it a perfect height. All, you come down here and you have bare dowel and um, it works really well and goes into place. But like I said, uh, that's real easy to, to um, put in there. Um, installing this into the plane, you've seen that before, but um, I'll stick this in real quick. See if you can see. This goes in really fast. This comes up. Now when you glue it, you will have to find a way to hold this in place and glue it down. All right, you have a cap for this end up here. On the back side, it will be some uh, clear, uh, some plain white plastic. You will have to cap the end of it after it's all installed, and that'll make a nice rigid box. Okay, um, I was gonna tell you one other thing is, back here at the back, let's see if you can see it. You can see where this stringer comes down here. Right here at the top, you need to clean it as much as you can, right here, so, uh, this back lip will fit in there because it kind of pushes it out if you don't clean clean it out and you can always go back here behind the cockpit if you feel like you need it and add another uh, a stringer or, or a, a kind of a brace back here anyway let me go ahead and get this all put back together real quick show you the final product oh and um but anyway one last thing i forgot I was up here on the front i did make a um 
uh, bomb sight, I guess, for the pilot. Um, when you get it, we'll have no holes drilled into it. I kind of tried to copy it best as I could from the documentation. It has three rings on here. The front, the back two were used for the um, mount, and it looks like they just had a pedestal mount. And all I did was take this and put it in a, um, a vise on the drill, on the, on the drill press, and I drilled a hole in the center of each, and then I just made it small enough that I could use a toothpick, and um, I mounted it on that, and uh, just had to paint the toothpicks black. I'll end up gluing it in there permanently later, but uh, it mounts on fairly easy once you can find the holes. It's black, so you really can't see it. But anyway, it mounts right right there. Anyway, I'm going to get it all back together. We'll take one last shot of it and, and try to wrap up this video. Okay, guys, here we are. I've got it all back in, got it all set up. Um, like I said, when you get through, there will be some uh, spare ABS or spare plastic uh, to glue to the back of the main cockpit and to the back of the rear cockpit. Um, here you can see uh, the Lewis gun in place. This is a six scale gun. The kit will include from Williams Brothers one six scale uh, Lewis gun. Um, also, I pulled a couple spare magazines. Those actually glue. Once you uh, figure out where your um, gun mount is, they actually, this in the real plane, this went further back and they had several, like two glued on one side and, and one on the other. Um, or actually they had, if you look at some of the documentation, documentation they had uh, five or six um, magazines back there. Anyway, um, there will be three of the spare ones included. You just have to um, cut them out, paint them, and, and uh, glue them to the side back there. Um, back here on the front, uh, if you look at the documentation, the gun mounts, I want to do this done on the center line, and I did it, the first gun mounts just behind this panel line. So if you come back here and if you, you measure them by the center, centering them on these rings, and you can see, and I just put a piece of tape, make sure I had my center line, and then actually mark the tape itself and drilled through the tape and got them exactly where I wanted them. Anyway, um, this is pretty easy install uh, once you get it together. If you follow the video, it doesn't take too long. You can always um, email me or call me. Uh, my number's on my website at tiesplanes.com. The cockpits will be available through uh, VQ Warbirds. Um, I did want to show you real quick. If you look here, there is room to put your servos in and still have room for the push rods. You can even actually drop your servos lower than the cockpit. If you put a new tray right there, you're missing the wing and you are lower than the uh, cockpit itself. And you still have room up front for your fuel tank. Anyway, um, but anyway this is a good addition to the airplane. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Uh, like I said, it's available through uh, VQ Warbirds. And um, I hope you enjoy your kit.